Part 2 Torso Muscles In this video lesson, you will discover the major muscles of the human torso. Let's begin with a quick sketch of a man's torso from the rear view. The central vertical line represents the axis of symmetry of the human body. At the top, we have a rear view of the skull. The trapezium has a diamond shape with four sides and four corners. The main action of the trapezium muscle is to move the shoulder blades. The deltoid is another muscle that every figurative artist must know. On this drawing, we can see the back portion of this muscle. It begins from the spine of the shoulder blade and inserts into the middle of the humerus or upper arm bone. The deltoid lifts the arm and rotates the arm outward. In anatomy, we can distinguish the two different arches, the arch of the ribcage and the abdominal arch. One arch is formed by the costal cartilage of the ribcage and is called the skeletal or anatomical arch. The other arch is formed by abdominal muscles and is called the Greek arch or abdominal arch. I will make another quick sketch of the human torso in the side view. The spinal column has its distinct shape of a double S curve. We can distinguish four curves here. One curve is from the neck region and another is from the ribcage region. The third curve is from the waist area and the final curve is from the pelvis and sacrum area. The axis of the first pair of ribs is tilted downward. Here it is about a 15 to 20 degree slope. The egg-shaped ribcage travels downward. In the front, there is the breastbone or sternum. Remember, the gluteal region consists of three muscles. Here is a good view of the front portion of this group. The medial portion, previously mentioned, is responsible for raising the leg sideways. The gluteus maximus muscle, or the buttocks muscle, is indicated here.